Hello everyone. Here we are going to start with exercise 11.4 of the chapter factorization. In this exercise, we will be doing the factorization of an expression which is based on splitting the middle terms. Now, let's go with question number one, second part. Here we are having z square plus 10z plus 24. Now, we are going to multiply the coefficient of z square with 24 and on doing so, we get 24. And the factors of 24 are 1 into 24, 2 into 12, 3 into 8, 4 into 6. Now we'll see how we get plus 10 by adding any of the two set like 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8 and 6 and 4. So here we can see 6 and 4 are added to get 10. So here we are going to write this one as z square plus 4 plus 6 z plus 24. Now open the bracket and here it will be z square plus 4z plus 6z plus 24. Now from these two we can take common of z and we will be getting z plus 4 and from here we get 6 as common and we get z plus 4. Now we can take the z plus 4 as common and here it will be z plus 4 and z plus 6 as answer. Now let's go with question number 2 second part. Here we are having m square minus 23 m plus 42. Now again we are going to multiply the coefficient of m square with 42 and on doing so we get 42 as the product. Now the factors of 42 1 into 42, 2 into 21, 3 into 14 and 6 into 7. Now we are having a positive sign that is the product of these two was plus 42. So we are going to add any of the two to get 23. Now we'll see what we add to get 23. So 2 and 21 is there. So we are going to split this one as m square minus 2 plus 21 m plus 42. Now this will be m square minus 2m minus 21m plus 42. Now we can take the common of m from these two that is m minus 2 and from here we get minus 21 as common so we get m minus 2. Now we will take m minus 2 as common and we will be left with m minus 21 as r. Now we will go with question number 3 second part and here we are having t square plus 23t minus 108. Now the product of the coefficient of this and this will be minus 108. Now the factors of this one is 1 into 108, 2 into 54, 3 into 36, 4 into 27, 6 into 18, then 9 into 12. Now we are having a minus sign over here, so we are going to subtract any of the two to get 23. And here we can take 4 and 27. So this will be written as t square plus. 27 minus 4 t minus 108 and this will be t square plus 27 t minus 4 t minus 108. Now here t t plus 27 minus 4 t plus 27 and here it will be t plus 27 and t minus 4. As now let's see question number four second part. Here we are having three y square plus ten y plus eight. Now three into eight will be plus twenty four. Now the factors of twenty four are one into twenty four, two into twelve, three into eight, four into six. Now as we are having plus sign over here, so we are going to add any of the two to get. 10. So we are going to take 4 and 6 and now this will be 3 y square plus 4 plus 6 y plus 8. It is 3 y square plus 4 y plus 6 y plus 8 and here we can take y common from these two. So this will be 3 y plus 4 from here we can take 2 as common, so plus 2, so again 3y plus 4, 
and now 3y plus 4 can be taken common so 3y plus 4 and here it is y plus 2 as answer now let's go with question number 5 second part and here we are having 12x square minus x minus 35 and the product of 12 and 35 is 4 to 0 as 4 to 0 is quite a big number so we are not going to calculate its uh, factors we can do the prime factorization of this one that's 2 2 1 0 again 2 this will be 1 0 5 then we can take it by 3 so this will be 35 5 7 and 7 1 now we are going to make two sets by the with the help of the prime factors of these all and make a difference of 1 with it here we can take 2 into 2, 4, and 4 into 5, 20, and 3 into 7 as 21. Now, 21 minus 20 is 1. So, we are going to write this one as 12x square minus 21 minus 20, x minus 35. Now, open the bracket. This will be 12x square minus 21x plus 20x and minus 35. Now from these two we can take 3x and we will be left with 4x minus 7 and from these two we can again take plus 5 as common and we will be left with 4x minus 7. Now 4x minus 7 can be taken as common and here we are left with 3x plus 5 as answer. Now let's see question number 6 second part. Here we are having 5 minus 4x minus 12x square. Again, we are going to multiply this by this one. It is 5 into minus 12. And this will be minus 60. And we can find the factors of this. That is 1 into 60, 2 into 30, 3 into 20, 4 into 15, and 5 into 12, 6 into 10, now, as the product was a negative number, so we'll just see among these will be subtracted to get 4. So, here we see 6 and 10 will be subtracted to get 4. So, here this can be written as 5 minus 10 minus 6 x minus 12 x square. That is 5 minus 10 x plus 6 x minus 12 x square. Now, from these two, we can take 5 as common. So, 5, 1 minus 2x. From these two, we can take plus 6x common. So, we'll be left with 1 minus 2x again. Here, 1 minus 2x can be taken as common. So, 1 minus 2x and we're left with 5 plus 6x as answer. Now, let's go with question number 7, second part. And here we are having 3x square minus 5x minus 12x square. Here again we are going to multiply 3 and minus 12 and this will be minus 36 and the factors of minus 36 is 1 into 36, 2 into 18, 3 into 12, 4 into 9, 6 into 6. Now we are having minus 36 so we will be subtracting to get 5. So we get that is 4 minus 9 is 5. So we are going to change this one as 3x square minus 9 minus 4xy minus 12y square. And here we are having 3x square minus 9xy plus 4xy minus 12y square. Now we are going to take the common of 3x from here and this will be 3x x minus 3 1 and from these two we can take plus 4 y is common and we're left with x minus 3 1 and when x minus 3 y is taken common we're left with 3 x plus 4 y as answer now let's go with question number 8 here we are having 10 p square q square minus 21 p q plus 9 now we're going to multiply 10 by 9 to get 90 here we are having plus 90 and the factors are now as the product is positive 90 therefore we are going to add any of them to get 21 
Here we see 6 plus 15 is 21. So we are going to take these two and this will be 10 p square q square minus 6 plus 15 p q plus 9. Here we are going to open the bracket. Now we will take common of 2 p q from here. So 2 p q we left with 5 p q minus 3. From these two again we can take 3 as common so minus 3 and we will left with 5 p q minus 3 and then we are going to take the bracket as a whole as common so 5 p q minus 3 and we are left with 2 p q minus 3 as answer. Now let's go with question number 9 second part and here we are having x in a bracket 12 x plus 7 minus 10. Now open it this will be 12 x square plus 7 x minus 10. Now the product of 12 and 10 will be 120 and the factors of this one are 1 into 120, 2 into 60, 3 into 40, 4 into 30, 5 into 24, 6 into 20, 8 into 15 and 10 into 12. Now from these factors we have to just check as the product of 12 and minus 10 is minus 120. So we are going to subtract any of the two pair to get 7 and on subtracting 8 and 15 we get 7. So we are going to write this one over here 12x square plus 15 minus 8x minus 10 and here it will be 12x square plus 15x minus 8x minus 10 and now from these two we can take 3 and x as common and we will be left with 4x plus 5 and from these two minus 2 can be taken as common and we will be left with 4x plus 5 and now 4x plus 5 can be taken as common and we will be left with 3x minus 2 as answer. Now here we go with question number 10 second part. Here we are having 8 plus 6 in a bracket p plus q minus 5 p plus q to the whole square. So very first of all we are going to let p plus q equals to k and here we will be getting 8 plus 6k minus 5k square and now we are going to solve as we were doing till now. So 8 into 5 is 40 and here we have plus and minus so this will be minus 40 1 into 40 2 into 20 4 into 10 5 into 8 the factors of 40 now we have to subtract any two pair to get 6 and here we can take 4 and 10 and this will be 8 plus 10 minus 4 k minus 5 k square and here 8 plus 10 k minus 4 k minus 5 k square and from these two we can take 2 as common so this will be 4 plus 5 k from these two we can take minus k as common so we will be left with 5 4 plus 5 k and now 4 plus 5 k can be taken as common to get 2 minus k now we are going to place the value of k as p plus q and on placing it we will be having 4 plus 5p plus 5q and from here 2 minus p and minus q as answer. Now let's go with question number 11 first part. Here we are having x minus 2y to the whole square minus 6 x minus 2y plus 5. Again we are going to take x minus 2y equals to k. And we can write this one as k square minus 6k plus 5. And here 1 and 5 will be multiplied to get 5 only and the factors are 1 and 5 only. Now here we are having positive. So we are going to add these two to get 6 and this will be k square minus 1 plus 5k plus 5. Now open the bracket. This will be k square minus 1k and minus 5k plus 5. Now we can take k common from here and this will be k minus 1 and from here we can take 5 common. So again k minus 1. 
and on taking k minus 1 as common, we will be left with k minus 5. Then we are going to place the value of k which was x minus 2y. So this is x minus 2y minus 1 and x minus 2y minus 5 as answer. That's all in this video. Thank you.